Last question I got for you, because next week you got your boy Tim Zhu. He's going to be fighting. Now. Yes. What, what, what you think yeah. about that? That's a good fight. That's a good fight because we know Mendoza is crafty and he got a little pop. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Uh, Tim Zoo's a volume guy. Tim Zoo got pop on his punches, but he's a volume guy. He moves when he's young and he's active. I don't know if uh, Mendoza can outactive him, you know, can outwork him. But Mendoza is slick and he can't catch him. You know what I'm saying? And we'll, in this fight, I think it's time for us to see what uh, Tim Zhu's chin looks like, because we know Terrell Gachet dropped him, and he don't punch very hard. So right. we'll see what he's about. Because if he get cracked by Mendoza, the way Fondora got cracked, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be ugly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see, man. I, I appreciate you stopping through. We we gonna go ahead. Thank and you, brother. Yeah. Back to hey. back to the Steelers. Back to the Steelers getting whooped on. I talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Hey, okay, okay. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, my line's winning. That's all. <laughs> all right, so, yeah. so we're going to go ahead and, and continue with the show. Shout out to uh, Scotty and, 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 and uh, Shuck for showing yeah. up, showing a little love. Um, then let's go ahead and get to these predictions. Speaking of that, it's a perfect segue. Uh, Shelton <laughs> was saying what he thought about Tim Zhu uh, and what to expect next week against Brian Mendoza. Bill, what you think? What you think is going to happen? Uh, and Sheldon brought up some great points uh, regarding this fight. I think this is going to be a bomb burner, and I, and they looking at this as kind of like a uh, you know Tim Zoo doing his thing, but this is going to be this could turn out to be a, a, a bomb burner for how long, however long it lasts. I, I think it's going to go to distance. If somebody gets knocked out in this fight, I think it will, it will actually be Tim Zoo. To be honest, I think Ryan Mendoza. Um, He's been in there with, you know, he's taking them heavy shots for Fedora. Uh, even in that loss to Jesus Ramos, he was brawling with him. Um, it's just that Ramos was just getting the better of him. Ramos was just digging more in his bag. And I, I do think that Tim Zhu could do more than both of those guys could do. I think Tim Zhu does have a lot more he can pull in his bag. But like uh, Sheldon said, that that time he got caught by Terrell Boucher coming in, it's like you make – and it's showing that even though Tim Zhu can do a lot of different things, he can box. Uh, he doesn't have, he's not the, he's, he, we have to remember that he doesn't have the amateur pedigree that, you know, Costa had, you know. So sometimes that can play into, he could do some things great, but it, it's just those small mistakes, it, it just, those can be the difference. Uh, so I do think that Brian Mendoza will have opportunities to catch Tim Zhu and, and Tim Zhu's chin is going to be tested. It's, it's going to be like, a hey, uh, was that Terrell Boucher? Was that just a shot you didn't see and then and, and you, and you went down and there was a flash knockout? Or is there something there? And I think Mendoza will test that. Um, and in turn, if Tim Zhu is able to stop Brian Mendoza, I would be surprised. I'm not saying it's out, not out of the question because uh, Mendoza – he can be hit, and, and Tim Zhu has shown to have some pop, but uh, it's, it's, it's really Mendoza's chin that I'm kind of like, I don't know if Tim Zhu can crack that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think this fight will be a war. I think it will go a distance, and, and I think that uh, I see Tim Zhu pulling this one out um, by decision. Mm. Okay. okay, let me go ahead and look and see. You see Tim Zhu over here, 23-0, 17 KOs out of Australia. He's in his prime, 28 years of age, 72-inch reach, 5'8 and a half. You got Brian Mendoza's 22-2, 16 KOs. He is also in his prime, 29 years of age, 5'10, 70-inch reach. So Zhu's going to have a slight reach advantage. Also, Zhu, better resume as far as who he's beaten. You know, just whooped on Ocampo, devastating KO victory um, a few months ago. He has a ninth round TKO stoppage over Tony Harrison. You mentioned the Goucher fight. I thought he got caught cold, first time fighting in the United States. Um, and then he has some other guys as well on his resume. Um, ste certainly has stepped it up uh, the past year or so, you know. And then Mendoza has a pretty decent resume as well. 
he has um, a victory over Rosario, and then he has the upset victory over Fandora, the loss to Ramos. And so here, I'm going to tell you a few things that I think. Now, I think he's getting better, you know, over the years. They say that he's a very, very hard worker um, inside the gym. And I think that he's, he, you know, he's, he's, he's an overachiever. So, and I'm looking at this fight right here against Thomas Lamana when he won a unanimous decision by 2020. And again, he may not be, he may be better now as a result of some of the, um, how he's been tested a little bit more within the past two years or so. I look at this fight, I think that this is going to be not a very difficult fight for Tim Zhu. I see Tim Zhu going in there, especially out there in Australia, Sydney, you know, they call him the soul taker. And I think he might very well just do that in his fight. He's going to, for some reason, these past few months, he's been looking devastating to me. That power is serious, you know, and you talk about the lack of uh, experience and things like that. If that ever is going to play a factor in his demise, I just don't think it's going to be this fight. Mendoza, I, I haven't seen a Mendoza where I was just like totally impressed, where I'm like, oh, this dude is, you know, this or that. He can, you know, deal with the upper echelon guys. As you saw, he was getting whooped on by Fendora. Fendora, it's like, he just seemed like he, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, lost focus for a minute. And then he, uh, 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 he, he had glasses on. <laughs> Whatever, for whatever reason. But I just didn't think he went in there and just whooped Fendora. It's just he mm -hmm. caught him slipping. Mm -hmm. but that being said, I think that the Soul Tech is going to get this man out of there probably about the eighth, ninth round. If it's not like a TKO stoppage, he might, the corner might stop the fight or something like that. But when it's all said and done, by the eighth round, I got Tim Zhu beating Brian Mendoza. All right, all right. Y'all subscribe to the last ones at the Bar Boxing Channel, man. We got some boxing fans out there. Last ones at the bar. Exclusively talks about the sport of boxing. Uh -huh.